Hi, I'm Wayne Stetna, road product specialist with Shimano American Corporation. And I spent the last three years test riding the new electronic Durace. And it's really exciting that we've finally been able to introduce it. The key to this system, one of the first keys was to develop a shift lever that was actuated in a way that the riders wouldn't get confused. And our pro racers really pushed us hard to keep the same ergonomics that we currently have. The paddle shifter is basically the same, except it's just a very short throw, and that's all it takes to shift into uh, toward your 11 on the back. It's just that fast. To shift inward instead of the main lever body throw, it's just that short of a shift. And it's a sequential shift one at a time, which is actually better than a multi-shift because you don't stab at it and guess how many gears you're going to get. If I need to shift three gears, that's a three gear shift. If, if I had to say one feature that makes the new Dura-Ace electronic system so remarkable, it's the first time that a front shifter actually shifts as well as a rear index system on a rear derailleur of a mechanical Dura-Ace. This is the trigger release, which is exactly the same as what we currently use. And then this is the main lever, but instead of the whole lever pivoting, it's just a two millimeter throw, and it's effortless. So this shifts to the small ring, this shifts to the big ring, and that's all the force it takes. The remarkable part is that the battery power will allow you to do that shift while you're standing up, sprinting uphill in the small chain ring under full power, and you put it in the big ring and your feet slow down. It doesn't slip. That's as hard as I can pedal out of the saddle. It's totally seamless. There's no slippage, no noise at all. So this is the battery. It's a 70 gram lithium ion battery. And there's a quick release lever here and it's spring loaded that it removes that easily. This weighs the same as a power bar and this is the only difference in weight between the mechanical and the electronic systems. The official battery life is 500 to 1,000 miles, and I suspect that's in sub-zero temperatures because in real life, on the hilliest rides I can find, I consistently average a minimum of 1,500 miles per charge. I've frequently gotten as much as 2,000 miles on a charge, and I think if I were riding back and forth to San Diego on PCH where it's flat, I could probably be getting three or 4,000 miles on a battery charge. This can be recharged 100 times, so people keep asking me, how much does it cost for a replacement battery? And I keep saying, how quickly can you ride 150,000 miles where you're going to need one? The, uh, front, the front derailleur has the computer that, that uh, contains all the shifting logic. So this computer has the information coming which chain ring you're in and what gear you're in in the back. The shift levers constantly talk to each other and it has a different shifting strategy to the big ring or the small ring depending on where you are on the rear sprockets. It will trim to run quietly. There are three trim positions in the small ring as you shift across the uh, freewheel and there are three trim positions in the big ring. 